Hi, I'm Paul, your Halpot Socksmith. If you're watching this video, chances are you've just been searching for French door security lock. Great news, you're in the right place. It's exactly what we're going to be looking at in this video. And this is quite possibly my favourite, and that's Lock Lock. So this particular one here um, is fit over a naughty cylinder, doesn't need to be, but that's how this one is displayed, as it's made by the same manufacturer. Very, very easy on the eye. Um, it is a sold secure, uh, it's the only uh, high security hand actually on the sold secure list. It is a pretty standard two star, uh, but that's because two star is the highest rating that you can give a handle. But where it does in, in terms of talking so in an official manner, so to speak, um, or from the accreditation's point of view, it stands out because it's the only handle on the sort of cure list. Um, it's easy on the eye, but that's this curve design is actually a security feature, and it's designed as a curve so that um, a would-be lock snapper can't grip the handle um, in order to snap it and then attack the lock. But all the locking is on the inside, and it's really simple. When you shut your door, you lift your handle, and you flip the switch down, and that is locked. Similar to pet lock, when fitting these, you change the um, you change the spindle, and you can see there, like pet lock, you've got the the knuckle here, some grooves on the inside. It also has grub screws that you tighten with your Allen key, which will hold. The, uh, the, the spindle from the inside. You'll see a slight groove here as well. Uh, this is so if somebody goes absolutely crazy trying to snap or, uh, or trying to force the handle, this will deliberately sacrifice itself and break. So the handle will just spin round and round but not actually be able to uh, unlock your door. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a beast but it also looks um, very easy on the eye. And to, and Whilst we're talking about how it looks, this shiny finish here um, has been tested thoroughly in the salt spray machine um, and comes with a 20 year guarantee. I can tell you now, this you'll need new handles long before the appearance disappears. This, this isn't an, the, the shiny finish isn't going to weather, it's not going to look all rusted and start to go funny within sort of a couple of years. So that's another added bonus. Um, the other thing I like about this is there's the keyless version. Now, if you have two other doors, so if you have, say, a front door and a side door that you can use to get in and out with a key, you're probably never ever going to use your French doors to leave the house. Yes, you might open the door to go into your garden. I would, I suspect you do that quite a lot in summer, but you're not going to use it as a way to leave the house to go to work where you're going to lock the door behind you and, and, and go to wherever you're going to. Um, so if your French doors are your third or uh, third door, we have the keyless version, which means your French doors are locked solely on the switch of the handle. This gives you, like the thumb turn on a on the on a, a cylinder, it gives you a keyless escape. It means that in summer you've got the convenience of just flicking the switch and walking into your garden, or coming in from the garden, shutting the door, lifting the handle, and flicking the switch down. Uh, to be to be lock secure, um, but also if you were a burglar looking for a lock to snap, there is no lock to snap. So you've immediately taken that option away from uh, from the burglar. So you have got the choice of either having lock lock working alongside the cylinder, or you can have it working completely on its own um, with the keyless version. Both very very easy on the eye. Great high security solutions. Uh, we retail these, we'll put the link in the video, uh, in white and black, the £40, in chrome, gold or uh, brushed steel, they're £60, or we can fit them for you. If in the West Yorkshire area we fit these, so the white and black we fit for £75, that's uh, supplied and fitted, and in the chrome, gold and brushed steel they're £95 each, supplied and fitted. Very, very cost effective, really easy on the eye, um, and without a doubt I think the, uh, my, my favourite uh, or my pick of the four methods. So Patlock has been on the market for a few years now. Um, it even had a had a show um, a few years ago on uh, Dragon's Den, um, and I think it became really quite popular from there. But this again is another very cost-effective solution for French doors because it's one device 
that locks over both handles so it's one device to secure both so I'm just going to take this one out of the box now when you receive part lock you'll notice as well as the part that we would that most of us would recognise that sits over the handles, you'll be supplied with two spindles. This is really important. If you are going to have padlock, you must change the spindles. And I'll take a closer look at these for you. So all you need to do to fit this is remove the handle. And as you can see here, it's two screws on your handles. And when you take your handles off, you'll have the spindle that runs between the two handles front to back. But the spindle that's in there already is effectively just a flat square block, completely flat. And in theory, if somebody was to attack your handles from the outside and take the handle off completely, they could push the spindle through and therefore your security, it just drop off on the inside. Um, so what Part Lock have done is they created this patented spindle and you'll see here, there's a little knuckle on here. So what you would do is you'd on the outside of your door, you push this through to the internal side. And on the internal side, there's some little grooves on the, uh, on the spindle. For which you would push one of these over. And this would create a knuckle on the internal side. You push this in right up to the door's mechanism inside the plastic UPVC. And what that would do when you push this onto the internal side, and you've already got the knuckle that's placed on the outside of the spindle is if you try to push the spindle or pull it, it will just stay perfectly still inside your door. You won't be able to push or pull the spindle out. So remember, if you don't do that, then you've only really got a deterrent on your door. Um, it's, it's not going to have anywhere near the level of security that you would probably wish for. But having done that, using this, once you've fit it and you've done it once, because it's all you need to do is you push your finger and thumb together to pull pack lock apart and then you just slide it over the handles and there we go and that's on i guess one of the nice things about this is it's a visual deterrent immediately when uh, if, a, if a would be lock snapping burglar was to check out your french doors they'll see that you've got something on there um, so it's very much a visual deterrent um it we retail it again we'll put a link on there you can purchase this from us for 50 pounds uh we can fit it um if you want us to do the the change of the spindle bear in mind you may have to cut the spindle down but there's a couple of grooves on the spindle to help you out but if, if you have a vice and a saw you should be able to fit this yourself but if you want us to fit it we can supply deliver and fit for 110. um but if you're happy that you can sort of Cut one, of, cut one of these down, you've got the tools to do it and you're happy to take this on, um, then for £50 you can uh, purchase this from helplots.com. A link will be in this video. Okay, so one of the most obvious ways that we can upgrade our security on our French doors is simply upgrading the lock to a TS007 uh, three star or preferably if you can get a salt secure diamond grade. Uh, the one we have here is the Ultian. And your cylinder, you would literally just take one cylinder out and push the other cylinder in. Really, really easy upgrade uh, and really quite an obvious one. However, in terms of fitting them yourself, the door that you always open first on the French doors should be quite straightforward if you know how to change locks. The slave side, as we call it, which is the second side you open your French doors, the screw for the handle tends to be tucked away um, and if, unless you've done it before, you may find that you're maybe not wanting to change that cylinder yourself. So it's, it's probably a job you're more than likely going to have someone do for you in terms of fitting. Uh, but we strongly recommend um, upgrading cylinders. Uh, that's probably the most obvious way to upgrade security on your French doors. But while you're at it, why not go keyless so this here is a thumb turn so you can see on the front there we have the ultimate cylinder which is displayed in this box but on the inside instead of using a key it has a built-in thumb turn so i'll just show you how this 
works. Let's take out the inside. Okay, so just by turning the thumb turn, you can lock the door. And that's that means that you can give yourself a keyless exit, it doubles up as a fire escape. But being on your French doors, when you're going out into your garden in the summer, you can just twist, twist your lock without having to think about where your keys are and open your French doors and walk out into your garden. Nice and easy. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Just Eat Sash Jammer. Uh, most people seem to have heard of these. Um, the downside to this, I guess, is there are a lot of copy sash jammers on the market. Uh, so I do recommend if you are going to go with sash jammers as your preferred method, please, please make sure that you look for one where you've got a full sash jammer kit. Um, they range in price on certain popular, very popular websites. Um, I've seen them as cheap as a pack of eight for 10, uh, £10. Pounds. Um, that being said, when I've seen them, um, it leaves me wondering very much how on earth they're supposed to do the job they are designed to do. Some pretty awful versions of these out there. The one that I'm going to recommend is the Fab and Fix. Fab and Fix, who are uh, owned by ERA, they're the UK's largest um, home security manufacturer. I've uh, been around for a long, long time. Um, Fab and Fix uh, do this. This is the Sash Jammer pack. You can see the Sash Jammer is here with a couple of packers in case you, if you require them. Um, but the reason why we have the kit is really, I don't know if you really can see on the camera, but there's just two. So these two, um, these here, what you do is, if you think when you're drilling into a UPVC, if you've got a UPVC frame going around your French doors, you drill into it and you're drilling into thin air. So if you were to just screw something into hollow plastic, there's nothing holding that screw in. So what these do, when you drill your hole, you pop these inside the hole and as you're putting the screw into them, they expand behind the plastic and that holds the screw in. So there's actually something physically holding the sash jammer into the frame. Um, I've seen so many poor versions of these and poorly fit versions of these uh, that are just hanging out of the door and it's little wonder um, that, that these are easily bypassed if you buy the wrong kind of sash jammer. Now we will put a link in there, we retail these, um, the uh, Fab and Fix sash jammer kit, I remember this is a kit not just a sash jammer, the SAS Gemma kits will retail for £8.50. But bear in mind that you're going to need, if you've got securing French doors, you're going to need four of these. So realistically, you need to budget for £34 uh, for four SAS Gemmas, and that's to fit them yourself. Um, we can, uh, for West Yorkshire customers, we can fit these for you, but in truth, it's not something that we do a lot of because in terms of being cost effective, if you're gonna buy four of these and pay a fitting fee, then we're now starting to look at better ways of, of spending that money. If you're wanting to keep on a very, very tight budget and you're prepared to fit these yourself, then fair, fair enough, that's, that's worth doing. But if you're gonna have somebody fit them for you, then it might be worth considering some of the other options on there. And those options we're going to look at now.